Hello there everybody, welcome back to TT Burger Game Reviews, and I am Tony, also known as TT Burger 88, and oh lord, oh lord, the game I'm about to show you is what's probably one of the worst games of all time, let alone PlayStation 2 games of all time, it's so bad that it doesn't even deserve a review! This game was released in 2006, the same year the PlayStation 3 was released here in North America. The game I'm, that I'm talking about is National Rifle Association Gun Club, aka NRA Gun Club, an abysmal first person shooter by Crave Entertainment and Jarhead Games. Honestly, there isn't much to say about this game because there's so little of a game here and little content in this game that anyone who buys this game will be bored after only playing this game for 5 minutes. To start things off, there is no story in this game, which isn't surprising at all, but even if there was a story, it wouldn't be anything interesting, I'm sure. As for NRA Gunkle's presentation, it's horrible! Likely, probably the worst presentation ever in a video game! The graphics are just abysmal. This game came out in 2006, and there are PlayStation 1 launch titles look a lot better than this. The gun models in the game <clears throat> all look terrible, and there are like over a hundred guns in this game, and they all look the same, and they all look just as bad. The backgrounds are totally lifeless with nothing going on in them, and they all look the same as well. And for the sound... Wait, what sound? Oh, you mean the weak gun sound effects and the very few lines of dialogue from the board announcer and such? Yep, that's all you get for sound in this game. <clears throat> there is no music at all in this game. No background noises, no sound effects even in the menu screens. It's almost completely silent. You might as well make your TV. It's almost just as bad as that. We haven't even talked about the gameplay yet and already there's so much wrong with NRA Gun Club. But talking about the gameplay, it is the worst part. Hell, like I mentioned earlier, there's so little of a game here, it's hard to even call a game. Basically, all you do is pick a gun, shoot targets to get the recommended score to beat the level, and that's it. <clears throat> it gets boring after only one round of this crap. What makes matters worse, the controls are just awful. They're so stiff and sore to aim the target, aim for the targets, and to beat the recommended score. Also, all the guns in the game, it doesn't matter if the gun has a rifle, or a shotgun, or so, all the guns feel exactly the same, and they all sound the same for the most part too. Anyway, Gun Club does have a few mini games as such, such as darts, bowling, claybridges, and more, but seriously though, who would even bother with these? I mean, the main modes make it pretty clear that this game is un an unfinished mess in the first place. Hell, you can pretty much see everything this game has to offer in under an hour. An interesting note here is that when this game was sold in stores, it was 20 bucks. 20 bucks for this game! Hell, even for $3, what I bought it for, this game isn't worth it at all. Besides that though, there isn't much else to say about this game. I feel sorry for the people who got this game when it first came out, thinking it would be awesome, and when they, when they got it, it turned out to be the exact opposite. After playing this game, I have to say that without a doubt, this is the worst first person shooter I've ever played in my life. Sure, Armory's Project 4 on the PlayStation and N64 was awful, but at least that game had gameplay in it. Here, you just do the same thing over and over again. I mean, what what was their idea here? Trying to make a first shooter to, to satisfy all the soccer moms and stuff who were against violent games stuff like that? Well, heck, this game is just a waste of time that even probably soccer moms would be bored of this, and even their kids would be bored of it too. I also forgot to mention that there are no enemies in this game at all. How can you make a first person shooter with no enemies is beyond me. But now that I've gotten out of that way, let's talk about the final rating on this game. And oh boy, the final rating. NRA Gun Club is a perfect example on how to not make a video game, let alone load a first person shooter. This game is so bad that I'm going to now I'm not even going to give this a number rating. Just like for Xbox Inline Skater, I will be giving NRA Gun Club a not recommended out of 10. And I'm sure you're all wondering, Tony, are you going to destroy this game, throw it in the lake and stuff like that? The answer is no, because this game serves as a perfect example on how to not make a first person shooter and such. And this is pretty much all I gotta say. This is Tony, aka TTBurg88. Peace out, have a great day, and do us do yourself a favor and avoid this game at all costs.